wants to use you. He sees you how you are. He wants you in his story for his glory. You need to stop seeking validation from people. They're never gonna be able to give it to you. They hate themselves. You have to go to the source. You have to go to your maker because they didn't make you. They don't own you. They can't put anything on you. They didn't create you. They don't know anything about you. They don't know everything about you. Only God does. They only know enough to judge you and to feel better about themselves. But God knows it all, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And when the one whose voice is greater than all shows up, when the Alpha and the Omega speaks, it negates the opinions of oppression. It marks out the messages from man, and it ends the accusations of the enemy. God's voice is over all, so why do we seek our validation from small-minded people? God does not call you by where you are or what you're currently doing. He calls you by your purpose because he knows the facts. He made you. Formed you in the womb. He gives the facts of who you are, the one that he always knew. God, yeah, I've been waiting on that one. God doesn't call Gideon saying, hey, you wimp, you coward. He shows up and he says, I am with you, mighty warrior. Man of valor, man of God. Stop looking at people for things they will never be able to provide and stop listening to what they say about you your maker is your mirror so get your label from the lamb the lord verse 14 the lord turns to him and he says go in the strength of that god already told him this was before he started getting rejection he already said Go in the strength you have, because I'm sending you. Not the strength you think you have, because obviously that's going to be too small. And not the strength that everyone else thinks you have, because that's going to be even less. And not the strength that you think you will have when you get there. God says you've already got it. Go in it. 